Welcome back, True Believers. This is Raktar, and today I'm playing some more Okami HD. In the last episode, I defeated Crimson Helm at the Gale Shrine, and where we met up with Waka, and he told me that he was headed towards the uh, Moon Cave, which I was going to. I was like, I better head towards the Moon Cave, but then Isun was like, nah, we should head towards Kamiki Village because the festival is happening, and as you can see, with these banners, you cannot make the jump without doing that little dash in the midair because the other banners are too far away from each other. But now that I've done that, that's about all that I really- oh wait, I forgot to check the thing that I always say to check. Is there more stuff up there? I don't know. Because you know how I always say to check and see if there's more Konohana Blossoms? coming off of a thing. I have to go up there and check that now. So I've warped back to Shinshu Field, and it looks like shit's going down. Yep. Let's see here. We might even be in for a storm. So yeah, as you can see, when you go back to Shinshu Field, events have begun yet again. There's like an evil air upon the land again. And as long as I'm here in Shinshu Field, first I might mention, in case it crossed your mind... Oh, actually, hey, I might mention this as well. See that? Yeah! Now, whenever I see a pile of leaves, I can get the treasures inside. And that was a flaming pile of leaves, so... But yeah, so I might mention, as long as I'm here... Oh, they already love me. That there was nothing at the top of uh, those towers. There was no extra things. But I'm gonna stop here. And I am going to get... Fleetfoot! I keep on passing this ability up, or I keep on forgetting to come back and get it. And, um, it's very stupid of me to keep on passing up this ability because it's actually a very good and useful ability. And in the last fight against Crimson Helm, it really would have been nice to have because I probably would have been able to dodge his fire ability more easily, even though you can dodge his fire ability by sidestepping it. All right, now that we have Fleetfoot, I'm gonna head towards Kamiki Village. It didn't look like uh, Fleetfoot works the way as the other ones because he, like, wasn't attacking me, so I'm not sure if you can get a Holy Bone M like you can with the others, so yeah. As you can see, coming in here, I think it automatically makes it nighttime, even though the sun is up, and it's gonna, yep. That's what I call, oh yep, okay. So even if it's daytime, it'll automatically become nighttime. Doesn't the Kamiki Festival fall on the full moon of this time of year? They're gonna finish off all that sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Ami, let us, let's lead out. I like how he's just like, doesn't, the like, impending doom that seems to be in the air doesn't seem to bother him. And as you can hear, the music of Kamiki Village is not so hot. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification sake. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shiranui's uh, great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. There isn't a drop of eight purification sake left? Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, eight purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. 
That's right, you fool. Do you realize what fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act to the moon cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. Huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I descended from I was descendant of Nagi. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil, and the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness. You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Then I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there, but the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. I know that Tsukuyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Shushano said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Susano, you're a coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Koshi, you're not going... Behold, my thunder brew. The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait. She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi, wait! And of course, the game is steering us in the direction that we need to go. Kushi has gone towards the mountain. Mushi is happy because he was, in fact, saved by Hayabusa, as it was promised he would. So it's good that Hayabusa didn't go with us, so he was here to save Mushi. But dude, we would have been here anyway to save Mushi, so it didn't even matter, because we were done with the Gale Shrine shit by the time we got back. 
But anyways, there's only one thing to do, and that's to get Susano, or to go save Kyushi. I don't know if the game will let us into Susano's at this point. What's wrong with Susano? Where's that Mr. Brave face of yours always put on? Yeah, I think that... Let's see here. The eight-headed servant shall appear in the accursed area shall mark the home of the chosen maiden, Nagi, Nagi and Shidanui. Put an end uh, to the abominable tradition, but alas, it come back to haunt us. Oh, dear Kyushi, forgive us. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Are you doomed to be devoured by the horrible thing I'm baking? You come out and deliver us from evil. I think that, um, I just have to go to the moon cave now. Or knock on the door. Because, yeah, I think that, yeah, it's looking like my only choice at this point. I'm trying to look for, like, if there's another way, and I forgot. Yeah, I guess I'll just head, to head forth to the moon cave. I remember somehow that uh, I, there's a point where I have, like, Kushi riding on my back or something to the moon cave, so that probably happens if I go outside of the village at this point. Yep. Here she is. You okay, sweetie? Don't try to stop me, you soon or snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, you soon. I guess I am crazy, but it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Not you too, Ami. Dang it, why are you getting all worked up here? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. And... As you can hear, the music has changed to this victorious jaunt. I don't want to get in any uh, fights while I'm heading up there. Although, I guess it wouldn't hurt me. I mean, I could always use a few more yen here and there, right? But yeah, so basically, we get our whole victory music revved up. Head up on here. And I'm not sure if this is the portion of the game, this might just be more cutscene. So there is a portion where there's like a big fight at the Moon Cave, and you do the Orochi fight several times in this game, but I won't reveal why at this point, but um... But yeah, oh, don't don't catch me. But yeah, I went the wrong way, because I'm stupid. There we go. And let's see, I think that is that the priestess waiting outside of the or the priest waiting outside of the house? Yes it is. Let's uh, see what he's doing. Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening uh, peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. Uh, so yeah, basically, I mean, this is it. This is a confrontation with Orochi, but don't think this is even close to the end of the game. Because if you thought that, you would be sorely mistaken. But as you can see, this place is fucked up. Thunder, lightning, the moon cave is still here, but only to us, apparently. Because everybody else sees it as having disappeared. But if they just went through the Golden Gate, they would know. I don't think there's anything hidden out here because the game is like... I think it's one of those points in like a game where they are trying to direct you and not interrupt like the feel of the game by hiding treasures around. I knew you'd come to Matarasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet.